Hi, I'm Alberta Godwin, and I've been running since 2014. Well, running found me because I travel between 70 and 90 percent of the time for work and I was packing on pounds, about 30 pounds, and I was like, you know what, the best thing for me is to run. So I found myself out in California near Disney and I was running, and I hate to say this word, but I got misoriented. I got back like 9 o'clock from a 6 o'clock run. I got back about 9 o'clock, so I said I need to find a running group. So I found Black Girls Run, which is a national organization for running. I joined the one locally here in Baltimore, and from there, it's just been history. My closest friends come from 2014 when we started training for the BWC and we started training for other races. We just developed that friendship and we're still going strong. I can't say I don't like running anymore because I just love the relationships that I have with running and the women that I run with. I'm never gonna be that person again where I'm running by myself and I'm lost and misoriented. I know from each city that I go to, I have somebody that I can run with. My first experience with uh, the BWC 5K, I was excited. I was with the running group and that's what we were training for. It was like, hey, we're all training for the BWC. And I'm like, what's the BWC? And I was like, oh, you're gonna run? I was like, I never ran a race before. And I said, oh, you're gonna do it. And I was like, okay. And today I do the exact same thing with every woman that comes out there. Hey, you are running the BWC. Last year I had to do it virtually because I had back surgery, so. Again, even though I had back surgery, I still, when I got a chance, I was out there doing my BWC walk, you know? <laughs> it was only fitting that at that race at BWC where women inspired me to win the nomination for New York City Marathon, it's just, I can't describe it. I was just so excited. This was not just my race. I felt like it was a race for everyone. Everyone like me who, you know, uh, struggled with weight and struggled with running. And I could probably cry right now because it was just so wonderful to have that. Just retrospect, thinking back to that day. Uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, I don't think I ever would have tried to run a New York City Marathon if it wasn't for BWC, Charm City, and New Balance. So my experience at the New York City Marathon, it was bittersweet. It was, the atmosphere was wonderful. It was exciting. It was the best thing ever. But I had back problems and I couldn't run a race. My mom was like, oh, she didn't want me to do it. And I was like, I'm doing a race. I packed everything. I was gonna do the race. And the day before I'm there and I'm in pain. Uh, when I'm running, I'm good, you know, but then when I stop, I'm in a lot of pain. And the doctor had actually restricted me from running, you know, six to eight weeks. And I was like, and I've been training. I've been training for this race. I'm like, I'm ready. My body was not allowing me to do it. So when I say it was bittersweet, it was, I was saddened that I was actually unable to do it. But the inspiration from being there for, to watch all the different people that was there running that race, from watching the elite runners come across the line, standing there cheering, because I, I wasn't giving up. You know, even though I wasn't there, I was going to be the biggest cheerleader. So I went to the store, I got me a sign, I got some markers, and I was out there cheering like, hey, I see greatness, I see greatness in you. Eight, nine o'clock at night and people were still coming across that line. And I'm like, it was everything. It was everything. It just, the experience was worth it. I mean, yes, I wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't my time to run that race, but it was my time to be there, to experience it, and to encourage others. We're not elite runners, but you are a runner per se. You, know, you just meet yourself where you are. You don't have to be a great runner. You know, at the end of the race, if you're not an elite runner, you're going to get the same medal, <laughs> the same praise as everyone else. A runner is a runner. Doesn't matter how fast or slow.